ich will dich, ich will dich, ich will dich nicht. Heinrich, wie denn? What's up everybody? Smoking a La Gloria Cubana Serie N. Not bad so far. And I wanted to talk about jewelry today, okay? Jewelry and other topics relating to that. Now, if you look into various religious traditions and uh, practices, uh, you know, in Catholicism or Christianity, you may have rosaries, and Buddhism, you may have ma mala beads, and witchcraft, you may have pentagrams, and so forth and so on. Now, if you look into witchcraft specifically, you're supposed, uh, not supposed to, okay? It, there's no supposed to. It's more encouraged, actually. It's, it's encouraged to make your own tools, okay? You're, you're, you're encouraged to make your own athame. You're encouraged to make your own religious symbols. You're encouraged to, you know, make your own chalice, stuff like that. And there is a reason for that. If you buy something ready-made, you know, you could always sort of like enchant it, so to speak. But it's more powerful if you make the thing by hand. You know, you take a dormant piece of wood or something, whatever, and you craft it into a chalice. Whether you know it or not, whether you believe it or not, you're infusing your energy, so to speak, into that object as you're making it. And it becomes yours. It becomes a reflection of yourself, you know. And that's what a lot of these bought materials can't really do for you, you know. And it's the same thing with gifts. Like if you give somebody a gift, you could get them a ring for $3,000. You could get them a gift card. You could get them all these things. But at the end of the day, I feel that it's more heartfelt if you just write somebody a card, you know, like I appreciate you, you know whatever, draw some things on it, paint some things on it, whatever, or just make something by hand, make like a, a necklace or a, or a bracelet by hand and give it to that person, I feel it's more heartfelt as opposed to, you know, just giving them a dormant object, you know. That's in my case, you know. Like, for example, if a girl gave me a Versace robe, I'd be fucking happy. Oh yeah, I'd be fucking happy. And I would remember that's from her, you know. Like I would always wear it, when I wear it, it would always remind me of her, for example, whatever. But if she if she um, sewed me like a shirt or some socks or some whatever, fucking a jock strap <laughs> made out of squirrel pelt or something, um, I'd feel that it would be more more close to the heart, you know. I'm all about luxury and luxurious goods, but at the end of the day, I like handmade things. Uh, I respect handmade things. So as you can see, that's just a little example. So what should you do? Yes, you could enchant, so to speak, or bless a rosary or mala beads or pentagram or whatever. But as it's encouraged, I will also encourage for everybody, even if you're not a crafty, if you're even if you're not like a handy type of person, you don't know how the hell to craft things or anything, um, just give it a try, you know, just give it a try. There's people that sell like wands or something on freaking eBay or Etsy, whatever, for like a hundred dollars and all it is is a stick like that they got from some random tree with a crystal fucking super glued onto the tip like like I understand it's all about convenience you know somebody's like oh you know they write a whole bunch of stuff about it this is this has been passed down from Merlin himself or whatever whatever um, they, they add a lot of bullshit to it but uh, there's also people that like the convenience you know they rather just pay a hundred dollars and you know have it ready made and, and there's nothing wrong with that but like I feel that it requires dedication, you know, you gotta do the damn thing yourself. You could find a stick, you could glue a piece of crystal or whatever onto the tip and 
what's the problem? Like, see, I, I don't see the problem with that. Like, even, like, if you're a super busy freaking businessman, you'll find, like, a stick at the side of the road, pick it up, put it in your suit or whatever, drop it in the back of your car or whatever, and then you could, you, you always find a way. God damn, this cigar is harder than my dick when I was 14 years old. <laughs> I don't know if it's rolled this way or or uh, it needs some more time in the humidor, but fuck me dead. There's no give to it. Absolutely no give to it. <sighs> Crazy. Anyway, people. That's about all. Um... So when it comes to stuff like that, make it on your own. If you're giving the gifts to somebody, I know it's tempting to go get like, you know, a gift card or something, but try to make something by hand. If you really like that person or if that person means a lot to you, um, make it by hand. Even if they toss it to the garbage or whatever, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter because, you know, you showed that, you know, you care about them. If they don't respect that, that's their problem. Who cares? Because there could be a lot of people, like a girl, whatever. You buy her, you know, pick her flowers or whatever, make her something by hand. She's like, what the fuck is this? Go get me a, a Pandora bracelet or something, you know? Fuck that nonsense. This is why I hate fucking American women. I remember being in Poland when I was like 13 years old or whatever. And there was this girl I used to hang out with and stuff. And like I always used to appreciate when she made me like tea or whatever. Like that was in her nature, you know? That was in her nature. She made me like tea out of berries that she picked from the forest herself and stuff. And then like I tried to, you know, uh, bake her uh, a, a, a bun, like a bun with sort of strawberry jam filling and it ended up a fucking disaster people you know like i'm better in the kitchen now but back then at 13 i didn't know what the hell i was doing so it ended up being like sort of a flat piece of bread that was super crispy with like fucking strawberry jello uh strawberry jam like spritzled on the top whatever but it's the thought that counts and, and she really appreciated it you know She hugged me and she thanked me and all this shit. Nowadays, you make these girls fucking a five-star meal, you know, filet mignon with fucking mushrooms dipped in the fucking urine of Jesus himself or something, and they fucking, um, they're like, oh, thanks, or like, oh, this is nasty. <sighs> and people ask me, why am I a traditionalist? Why am I all into old ways or whatever, whatever? Because people were happy with small things in old ways, in, 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 in older times, or just, you know, people that are more traditional by nature, like, they appreciate that shit more, you know? <clears throat> anyway, people, peace out.